Hi, today we're going to finish up the vocabulary list that we had started yesterday. We're going to talk about uh, center lines, windows, and doors in the rough openings and how to come up with those. Tomorrow we're going to apply all this terminology that we learned and we're going to learn to lay out the wall plates. So let's get started. Center line. A center line is something that we use to mark the the center of something. And typically on a set of blueprints, we're looking for the centers of doors, the centers of windows, and the centers of walls. As we can see in this set of blueprints, windows are laid out to centers. So there's our window. There's our center line coming out off of the window. Same thing here. We have a measurement, although that's not a real measurement, that says equal, equal. But the designer wanted eight feet between the two windows, which actually happens to be right here. There's our two windows eight feet apart. But to get our center lines, we're going to pull the measurements off of the blueprints. Then when we take this center line measurement from where we need to and we're going to apply it to our sole plate and our top plate to the wall, we are going to signify the center line of the wall or whatever it may be with this marking. C L, which will be written directly over top of the center line that you put through. So the placement of the center line is determined off of the blueprints. And you can see that the center line is still visible from when we laid this doorway out on the top plate. So does the center line mean anything to us after the walls are built? No, not really. But it's just a layout mark that we use in order to frame the rough openings. This is what a rough opening will look like for a doorway. It's called a rough opening because it's a rough opening. It's not exact what size the door will be or window will be, but it is bigger than what the unit will be that slides into it. Is accuracy important for level and plumb? And for width and height, accuracy is somewhat important. When you're, when you're framing, you need to be within about an eighth inch on every direction of straight, level, plumb, and square. So the rough opening is bigger than what the window unit will be. So as you can see, there's a, there's a, there is a gap around the sides, the top. Not only on windows, but doors as well have the gap. And as you can see, they're filled with shims in that gap. So windows and doors are sized to work in an opening that is slightly bigger than what it is. And we use shims to close that gap. If you haven't figured it out yet, RO is the abbreviation for rough opening. So you're going to see or hear that term on a job site. What's the RO? You'll see that on a set of blueprints, RO. So that's why we're going over this term. It's important to know. 
we can get the measurements for the rough openings for doors and windows from a few different places. The easiest place to get the measurements for the rough opening for a window would be right off of the blueprints. Number five. The architect many times will place a door and window schedule available for you to read. Number five, unit dimension, rough opening. When we're framing, rough opening is the measurements that we want. Another way is to get the measurements online. Many times when we're on a job, we will be using windows that already exist. Perhaps there's no paperwork for it. Maybe they're old and you're reusing windows. That happens a lot on hunting camps. But how do you come up with a rough opening for something like that? Well, let me show you. The first thing we do is take the window or door unit that we have on the job site and measure the outside measurements of the unit itself. It's like 21 inches. Looks like 35 and 1 eighth. The width is always the first number. The height is always the second number. Our window dimensions are 21 by 35 and 1 8 inches. So, how do we come up with a rough opening if we don't have a schedule to look at? It's simple. Add a half inch to each dimension. In this case, 21 by 35 and 1 8 would simply be 21 and 1 half inch by 35 and 5 eighths. That gives you the correct size rough opening to install your window in later. Most windows are not standard sizes. There's such a variety of window sizes. They typically jump about two inch increments in width and height. And they could be anything from 18 inches to seven feet. Doors, on the other hand, come in standard size widths. A standard size exterior door is 36 inches, 3 feet. It's called a 3-0 door. Other common dimensions for widths of doors are 32 inches and 30 inches for exterior doors. Interior doors, on the other hand, start at 18 inches wide and work their way all the way up to 36 inches in two inch increments. The height on a standard door from the bottom of the door slab to the top of the door slab is 80 inches. But there is a frame around everything on the top and the width. So, Let's calculate what a door rough opening should be for a 36 inch wide door. Now remember what I had said about doors being measured to the size of the slab. So in this case, we have a 36 inch door by 80 inch. Remember width is always first before height. 36 by 80. If this were to be an interior door, we would add two inches to each dimension, making the rough opening be 38 inches by 82 inches. That'll be our rough opening for an interior door one that would go between a bedroom and a hallway, one at the top of your stairs. 
Exterior doors, on the other hand, is a different measurement. Exterior doors have a thicker jam on the outside, a thicker frame, and we need to accommodate for that in the threshold on the bottom of the door, which is the seal to the between the inside and the outside. With exterior doors, we are going to add two and a half inches to each dimension of the door slab to allow for a thicker jam than what the, what the interior doors have. So our 36 inch by 80 inch door, the rough opening is now bigger than what the interior door is. So it now becomes a 38 and one half inch rough opening by 82 and one half inches. So you notice that the exterior rough openings for doors are a half inch wider and taller than what, a, than what an interior door of the same size would be. Thanks for watching, man. We'll see you tomorrow.